Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome. This is Melissa Arma with a stock push. I'm here today to review Google. I haven't done a video on this in a while, and I've been watching it. Watching it today was actually the highest the option train, uh, chain ran up today of the profit that I had. It was almost seven grand. It was up in this this morning at one point, and I was wondering if I should get out of half and protect myself in the risk. I decided not to do it. I decided to hold the whole position, which I am going to do at least through today of the minutes, through two o'clock, and through tomorrow to get the volatility and going up tomorrow into the into the earnings. So the earnings are tomorrow night on this stock. And I took the trade. I'm long in this stock in calls. It's a very expensive stock, and I have a uh, a good position in this, a good cost position. And even with the days that we've had red back in here, it's been a positive trade for me. It was actually just, it was positive. I think it was, it was positive. No, it was the day I took it, the day I took it, it was positive. The next day it went, it pulled back a little bit. I took some more. It was a little bit negative. And ever since then it took off. So I literally had to suffer through one day of a small, tiny, weeny, uh, little negative of like 10, 15 cents. And I added to it that day, and then it took off. So it's it's been a nice trade. It's held above one for the purchase price of what the option is worth, and that's what I wanted to see. The price, the stock is moving higher. So I'm in it in the right direction. It expires Friday, but I'm going to be out, like I said, today, tomorrow. Probably tomorrow. I could have gotten out of it today. But I, I wanted to see more of this. And, and now it's pulled in a lot here today, but I'm still up more today than I was yesterday. And I just shut it down. I got to get work done. I want to focus. I'm just going to get work done. You just can't sit and babysit these things all day. And I've known from the past, earlier in the year, when I first started doing these, like the end of the last year, I used to sit all day and stare at the option chain. I, I'd never get anything done. And I just can't do that anymore. And it doesn't serve any purpose. You take the trade. You make the decision. You know where you're getting out. You have in your mind where you want it to go and the period of time you're getting out. And like I said to everyone in the room today, you could have get out of this today and more than doubled your money. Full trade, or you could have gotten out completely taken all of your risk off, gotten out of half the position, book some money besides and let the rest ride. And you could let the rest ride into earnings if you want. But anyways, the chart looks great here. It looked better earlier. So when the bar was all the way up here, a solid fact green, but the market's coming in red and apples pulling it down. And there's we don't know what's going to happen until two o'clock. So bottom line is. This does not look as good this second as it did earlier today, but the overall chart still looks great. When this happens, I don't remember if I did a video or not, this bar was as sturdy as a brick. This is like a, like some of the skyscrapers in New York, the beams, the steel beams, the, the steel concrete walls that are in the, like the building on Evan right now, it's concrete. I had a guy, I hired him to hang up a, hang up a lamp he had to actually drill into the concrete. So this is like a concrete wall. Um, it's not going anywhere. This is actually a gap up, huge, nice bar, nice rally on support. I mean, there's, this is an, this right here is a brick wall, a concrete wall, a steel beam, okay? And the Empire State Building. And so, this is the baby support for now, but I think it's going to be the new support that's the stronger support, which we have to see how we act here today and then tomorrow into itself. So this looks really good. This looks really good. I mean, this looks great. This looks amazing. This chart is higher. It's, this chart is higher, and, and my prediction is that it makes a brand new all-time high in the earnings Thursday night up way over 800. So previous high here was 79.86. I can't go back intraday. This is back in February. I had done the option then and, and I made money in it. I made money in it this day, got out and I made money in this day. But I will tell you though, that this is gonna go back and do it again and do it better this time. Because on this day it fell. It actually was at 822. It was actually at 822 at one point in the post market, I, I saw it, it spiked up and hit it. You, I can't go back to show you, but I remember. In fact, if anybody can go back that far on a post market chart and a pre market chart of Google on February 2nd, email it to me. I can't, and I should have snagged it, but it hit a, a, a 822. It was either 820 or 822. I think it hit 822. I think it actually hit 822. Anyways, it, 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 I really thought it was going to open over 800 then on that day, it didn't. But here's a different story. It's a way different story here. 
So we're not done. We have today and we have tomorrow. And what I would like to see, the realistic target for tomorrow is right around here, 750-ish, uh, 755, 760. If this has a big day tomorrow, it could get all the way up to 770, which it certainly could do. What was the biggest day? Man, this chart hasn't had a big green day in a long time. I'm just seeing that now. 20, no, this is 14 bucks. This was 15 bucks. This, this, this chart is bullish, but I'm looking at this now. This is $24. This chart has not had a nice, huge, massive, beautiful, fabulous bar of buying for a long time, despite the fact it's a bullish chart. That's very interesting. I never noticed that till now. It just dawned on me looking and studying this. The price action is bullish all over the place in this chart. Even the failure on the earnings of last report back in here in April, drop, broke, held, fixed itself, came back up. This was Brexit or probably wouldn't have done that at all. This never went anywhere down. Can't never went anywhere down at all. And and I'm just noticing it does not have any big fat. So boy, that would be great if that happened tomorrow. That would be so great if that happened tomorrow. I will just have to wait and see. This is a big day. And the one day I was talking to you about that's a steel beam. But this is not even a monster day for this stock. And I can't even see any in here. I mean, they, we're talking way, way back. Way, way back. This is, you know, a $30 move. Those are the monster days I'm talking about, which a stock absolutely can do. And it almost looks like it's waiting to do it, doesn't it? It looks like it's getting ready to do it. It looks like it wants to do it so badly. And the only thing that's holding it back is the market. Here, let's just look at the market superimposed here just really quickly. The only thing that's holding it back. And the sister... G O L G L looks even better. So this looks even better than G O O G, as you see here. I mean, this looks amazing too. So wish me luck in the Google. We'll see what happens. We'll watch it today, watch it tomorrow, watch it tonight, see how it closes, see where it gaps tomorrow morning, and watch the market as well. Again, I'm in calm. They expire Friday. I'll be out way before then. Have a great night, everyone. And if you'd like to learn more information on my method, which you can use to do options trades for day trade options or swing trade options or do them overnight for days or weeks or months, you can do them. You can do them. And I also have an options letter that you learn everything in the class with a point to know how to even read this right to take the trade. Email me at Melissa at thestockpush.com if you would like more information. The Golden Gap class is this weekend, July 30th and 31st. Thanks and have a good night.